the week again, Seminole fans. Welcome back to this week's edition of Ask the Knowles. I'm Scott Coder for Seminoles.com. Let's get right to our first question. Today our first question comes from Facebook and Debbie Kersey Danger asked probably the most popular question we've seen so far this week. She asked, will our defense be able to shut down Sammy Watkins? Well, Debbie, with an athletic playmaker like Sammy Watkins, most likely you're not going to be able to just completely shut him down. If you're the Florida State defense, the key is to contain Sammy Watkins, but to more importantly, contain Andre Ellington, Taj Boyd, and DeAndre Hopkins. Remember, their offense is not just Sammy Watkins. Obviously, he's the premier piece of that offense, but in order to fully contain Clemson, you've got to focus on those four playmakers. Our next question comes from Twitter, and Stephen J. Collier asked this. I believe our offense is under the most pressure in this game. The defense is a proven commodity. Does the majority of the fan base there agree? Well, Stephen, when you look at it, in this kind of game with a lot of national pressure on the line, ESPN, college game day here, so on and so forth, the biggest thing is all three phases of the game. I know it's a lot of coach speak, but offense, defense, and special teams are under equal amounts of pressure. Remember, Clemson offense is one of the best in the country. Their defense gets better each and every week, and they've got an outstanding special teams unit. Oh yeah, they're very well coached too. So yes, the offense is under pressure, but every single unit on Florida State is under the equal amount of pressure. And our final question comes from Carlton DeDred, and he asks, will true freshman D lineman Edwards, Casher, and Goldman be a regular part of FSU's D line rotation? When Jimbo Fisher addressed that on Monday, he did say that obviously Tank Carradine and Bjorn Werner would be the first two, followed by Giorgio Newberry and Toshman Stevens, but you will see a lot of Chris Casher and Mario Edwards. Eddie Goldman, though, has probably been the most impressive guy on the defensive line so far, not really playing like a true freshman. You're going to see a lot of playing time at Eddie Goldman this season. Come back next week for another edition of Aston Knowles. For now, I'm Scott Coder reporting for Seminoles.com.